But when you use fossil fuels like we do to make electricity, you emit CO2 in the atmosphere. And so we want to remove it from our emission streams. It basically means we're going to take our flue gas and separate the CO2 into a very pure form and then put it underground into formations where it can be stored safely for a very long time. We have a learn by doing philosophy. It's very important because these technologies cost hundreds of millions of dollars and we're counting on them to meet environmental regulations for instance. And we want to ensure that once we spend these dollars we're actually getting what we pay for. The first thing that we do is we go to the laboratory and we verify what the vendor is telling us or the inventor that it's true. Then what we do, because coal has so many different constituents in it, we want to expose that technology to real flue gas to ensure that there's not a trace amount of something that really affects the process. So it's kind of confirmation of what happens at the lab scale. Then what we do is we increase in size to make sure that the process will actually scale properly. The TRIG technology was a joint development between the Department of Energy, Southern Company, and Kellogg, Brown, and Root, and took place over a 15-year time period at the Power Systems Development Facility. This process converts coal into a gas and allows for easy removal of potential emission sources. The TRIG technology will become commercial in China next year and will be deployed in the United States in Kemper County in 2014. This technology will utilize lignite, which is a low-grade fuel. It also has uh, several emission benefits in that it will be capturing and sequestering 65% of the carbon dioxide that's produced. The technology has the potential you know, to move forward to allow coal to generate power in a cost-effective, environmentally safe manner. It doesn't matter if it works in a laboratory. It doesn't matter if it works at pilot scale. What really matters is that it delivers performance when you need it the most. We don't want any surprises when we have to make large investments so that when we say a technology is ready, we know that when we turn the key, it's going to run and run safely and uh, predictably so we can provide reliable electricity to our customers.